just going to show you the interior for the uh, Piper Cherokee 140. This is the rear hat tray, which is actually an added bonus here. Uh, usually it's just a flat panel. This has the uh, the top side to add to your, you know, any kind of lightweight stuff, hats, uh, umbrellas, such as that, and it also has the access hatch here. There is a crack right here, okay, and then also right there. Uh, structurally, it's not too bad, although it just does kind of hinder it a bit on, on uh, holding this in. It's, it stays there pretty well, though. It's pretty stout. But um, it's just held on by screws. Uh, here's... <coughs> Here's the front seats right here. As you can see, they're, it's pretty good velour type covering with uh, nylon. And here's the uh, retractable up and down handle for both seats. It has that. Um, also has some self-etching primer here for, for aluminum and such. It's just some stuff that I got. But, um, and then this, this seat is also uh, retractable up and down as well and uh, <clears throat> here's some of the plastic pieces as you can see it's in pretty good shape uh, this is for the the mic jack and also the nose trim for the or the rudder okay and then uh, other pieces that have been replaced here's a fuel selector that's a new piece as well and all the vents it's got a new new armrest Kind of redid that the seat belts and such and I I packaged everything so everything should be labeled It'd be really easy to put back together and here is the uh, cover for the flaps but uh, <clears throat> here's the back seats you could tell as well they're really simple here's the bottom pads really good shape recently recovered and there's the back side uh, this is the <clears throat> this is the deck lid for the rear where the rear seats sit. Just below that is the battery tray. This is the original carpet. I started to take it off. I hadn't quite got finished with it yet, but this would need to be recarpeted. Here's the seat belt holes, and here's the hinge system that it just simply slides in place. Uh, there's no no rot on the wood whatsoever. It's been taken care of. That's where the seats snap into place here. And this was the carpet that was in it. It's nothing special. It's basically just an outboard type carpet for I believe pontoon boats boats, but uh that's what was in there. So I kind of just collected some of these pieces. Here's the one that they had for the center console. It was a, it was a little different type of a carpet. <clears throat> also have new screws for the interior. If I needed to replace some, I had them. This is the, the door trim. Um, back here are the panels and they're blue just to give you an idea what the panels look like and that's the original panels there it's the cutouts for the uh, vent systems and the seat belts there's the armrest and they he added that pocket of course, it has original uh, plating on there as well, as far as uh, the miles per hour install and such. The panels are original, and there are some cracks on the back side, but once installed, there's really no, no problem with it setting upright and, and being flush up against the wall. It looks pretty good. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much the interior. Uh, we could get it all back in there for you if you decided to do so.